welcome to the Lost Legos Finals of Lego Ninja Warrior Season 4. We're here in the new Lost Lego Stadium for this gathering of our finalists as they compete to become the Season 4 Champion. Let's go to our hosts before we get Stage 1 started. We are very excited to be in this new stadium and the stands are filled with our fans. We know it's been a while, but we are ready to complete Season 4. This has been our biggest and most ambitious season yet, so we appreciate the patience from our fans. There are 35 finalists from our six qualifier rounds. Some of them are filing into the stadium now. We also have nine wildcard competitors joining us. These are minifigures that came out after we started the qualifiers. DJ Llama, Tigger, Ebenezer Scrooge, Amelia Earhart, a Roman Gladiator, Lola Bunny, Din Djarin the Mandalorian, Cookie Monster, and Monkey Kid. Please welcome our new competitors. Tonight's course includes the spinning platform from the Blockville Qualifiers, the cliffhanger from New Brick City, the twisting steps from Bricktown, the glass wedge from Legoopolis, and finally, the extreme salmon ladder. Those that hit the buzzer will advance to Stage 2. Our first competitor is Sonic the Hedgehog from Legoopolis. Remember, he was our Season 3 champion, and we expect big things from him. But keep in mind, a lot of these obstacles are from our prior courses, and none of these competitors have seen all of these obstacles at any given time. So there could be a slip-up at any moment. But Sonic's looking good so far. He has the extreme salmon ladder left. It's a tall climb. But it looks like he's going to make it. He just has to swing across to the final platform. And Sonic will be advancing to stage 2. Ray Skywalker is another long-time serious competitor here. And she is finishing stage 1 without breaking a sweat. Great job, Ray. The next two lady competitors struggled. Ellie Sattler took on the twisting steps. But she slipped off. It's a tough one. And then next, our first wildcard competitor, Amelia Earhart, took on the cliffhanger, but lost steam halfway through and fell into the water. Sorry to see you go. Marty McFly is through the glass wedge. This is his first time in the finals, despite being a longtime competitor. And he's beginning the salmon ladder. Ooh, he lost his grip, fell into the water, and he's out of here. Wild Style is another seasoned competitor, and she is at the top of the Salmon Ladder, and she's rung the buzzer and will advance. Nice work. Din Djarin from the very popular Mandalorian series is our second wildcard competitor, and he's finishing the Glass Wedge. He's looking very strong down there. We know he's a very in-shape bounty hunter, and he's moving his way up the Extreme Salmon Ladder, and yes, it looks like our first wildcard competitor is finished. And right behind him is another Mandalorian, Jango Fett, who also has finished the course. Nice. Hayato of the Exo Force is halfway through the course. He is on the glass wedge. This is a tough obstacle, and he lost his grip. He is disqualified. Monkey Kid is our third competitor from the wildcard group. He is going right up the extreme salmon ladder. He must be an extreme competitor because he didn't skip a beat out there. And right behind Monkey Kid is Aladdin. Looked like he almost fell off on the final platform, but he will be advancing to stage two as well. Excellent work. Tigger from the Winnie the Pooh series is our fourth wildcard competitor. He is at the Twisting Steps. His friends from the Hundred Acre Woods are watching on. He has the glass wedge in front of him, and that bar slipped right between the wedges. Our first senior citizen competitor from Buildington is the Ancient One, but the Salmon Ladder proved too difficult. Diva from Overwatch was right behind her. She's representing Legoopolis, and she will be advancing to Stage 2. Avatar Aang is at the starting line. He was a wildcard competitor last year and did quite well in the finals, and he has made it to the finals this year as a regular competitor. His friends are watching from the stands. Everyone is cheering him on as he is a young, energetic competitor. He has the glass wedge... Finished, it looks like. Yes, he's through. The Salmon Ladder is all that's between him and finishing this stage one. And we think, yep, he has done it. Great job, Avatar Aang. 
Next, we have Shaggy from Bricktown. He is a longtime competitor, but this is his first time making it to the finals. He is at the glass wedge. It's really exciting to see some of these fi these competitors make it to the finals after years of competing so hard. And it looks like Shaggy's showing off even more of his power than we've seen before as he finishes the course, and he will be moving on. Excellent work, Shaggy. Next, we have Lizard Man, a Blockville finalist. He is here at the finals for his first time as well, and he will also be advancing. This is really exciting stuff. Elastigirl is at the glass wedge, and she's through it. That has been a difficult obstacle today. The salmon ladder's in front of her. She's slowing down, and she's into the water. Sorry to see you go, Elastigirl. Lance from the Mock City competition is with us now at the cliffhanger. He makes the jump. Oh, he almost slipped back into the water. But he's moving forward to the treacherous twisting steps and they prove too treacherous for him he is disqualified we have abraham simpson known as grandpa simpson he's one of our senior citizens taken on the cliffhanger and the cliffhanger was too difficult ran out of steam after those defeats we had two competitors longtime competitors go all the way to the end we had lloyd garmadon finish the course and then deadpool who always makes a joke of everything as he strikes a pose there also finished the course in advance. Next we have Bo Peep from the New Brick City Qualifiers. This is her first time in the competition. She showed a lot of grit on her first run, but today she seems to be going a little bit slower than she has. Oh, I'm afraid she is disqualified. Next is a Roman Gladiator, one of our wild card competitors. That helmet looks very heavy as he tries to jazz up the audience. Oh, the helmet threw him right over the edge. He looks pretty upset about his apparel choice. Steve of Minecraft, one of our Blockville competitors, is a longtime favorite and is no stranger to a lot of these obstacles. He moves on to the Salmon Ladder. The audience is cheering him on, and this is an exciting run, as he finishes as well. Great job, Steve. Raj from Mock City and of Big Bang Theory fame has made a lot of improvements as he's competed this season, but this is a tough obstacle, and it looks like it's claimed another victim. Sorry to see you go, Raj. Way to be here. Shuri, the younger sister of King T'Challa, is standing in for her brother, who, as we look back earlier this season, was a finalist. He's been a great competitor as we've seen him compete a few times. Unfortunately, King T'Challa passed away between the qualifiers and the finals, and so we're excited to see his sister here as she is finishing the course and will be advancing. Great job and way to represent your brother. We're sorry he couldn't be here. Savage Opris of Mock City is here for his first time in the finals and in the competition. He begins the glass wedge, another very difficult obstacle, and he is slipped off. Unfortunately, this is the same obstacle that his brother Darth Maul fell on, and they were training together. You'd think they would have been more prepared for this obstacle. And there's Darth Maul in the stands. He looks very upset about this. Perhaps his path down the dark side just became darker. Competing right after Savage is Wonder Woman. She has been to the finals a few times before, and we're excited to see her advance to Stage 2. Next up, we have a very popular contestant from prior years. It is groundskeeper Willie. He has been all the way to the last stage of the finals here in Los Legos. Let's see what he's working with today. He is making his way across the course as many members from Springfield watch on, including those in Mr. Burns' box. And they were not disappointed as Willie will be advancing. Next up, we have Leonardo, who was right behind Willie, and he will also be advancing to Stage 2. And then from Legoopolis, we had Batgirl, who is not as much a veteran as these other competitors, but she will be making her way to the next round as well. Next, a group of senior citizens took on the course. Ebenezer Scrooge, one of our wildcard competitors, fell at the twisting steps, and he didn't seem to have much Christmas cheer after that. Albus Dumbledore, the head of Hogwarts, fell on the cliffhanger after he lost his grip and went into the water. And then Vitruvius, one of our blind competitors from Billington, fell on the first obstacle, which was unfortunate. And here comes another wildcard competitor. It is the Party Llama from the video series, which just came out this year. He's doing quite well on the course as he has the salmon ladder in front of him. He begins, oh, it looks like he almost lost his grip, and he did lose his grip. It's too bad. Next, another wildcard competitor is Cookie Monster, picking up right where Party Llama left off, and Cookie Monster will be advancing as he munches away on some snacks. 
Captain Jack Sparrow from Legoopolis is at the Twisting Steps. Another difficult obstacle that has claimed another good competitor. Sorry to see you go, Captain. Following Jack Sparrow, we have Parker Jackson, a newcomer to our series. She is at the cliffhanger, and halfway across, she fell into the water and is disqualified. Aragorn, a ranger from the north, is starting the course. He is from Legoopolis. We saw him last year, but he was unable to finish his qualifying round, but he is looking much stronger this year. He is at the Twisting Steps, which has claimed a lot of good names today, and he flew right over it. He has friends up in the Baggins box and more friends from across Middle Earth watching on as he tackles the Salmon Ladder and jumps on the second to last rung. He will be advancing. Great job. Our final senior citizen to take on the course from Buildington is Beetlejuice. He is at the Glass Wedge and he's already looking like he's off and he's disqualified. Frozone, our final superhero to take on the course, is halfway up the Salmon Ladder. And he's in the water, which is too bad. We wanted to see our last superhero succeed, but not everyone can make it to the end. Good job, though. Our final finalist is Zane of Ninjago, representing New Brick City. He's at the start of the course as his teammates, many of whom are competitors and finalists, watch on. He has the glass wedge in front of him. Fun fact about Zane, he was in the finals of Season 1, but unfortunately ran out of time on the first part of the qualifiers and was disqualified. It looks like Zane will be advancing and a great win for our final finalist. Way to go. Well, that was a lot of finalists to get through, but what an exciting stage one we've had here in Los Legos. 22 competitors out of the 44 will be advancing. It just so happens to be a perfect split of those who succeeded and those who were disqualified. Stay tuned as this group tackles stage two. Thanks for watching.